Hey, thanks a lot, Ed. It's not unusual for someone to develop a creative outlet like music or art at an early age, only to put it aside for a while because of many other distractions. In our next story, Ken Wilshire profiles a Hendersonville artist who began his love affair with art at an early age and rekindled it much, much later. This vivid, colorful painting is the work of Salvatore Palazzolo. He started painting when he was in his 20s. This is an example of his work when he was in his 30s. And then Salvatore served in the United States Army, pursued a long career in the restaurant business, and even did a little dancing in vaudeville. So his work in painting was not as prolific in his 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. But when he returned to his easel and canvas, he began producing works like these, from still life to landscapes, with a touch of the abstract. Well, this is Salvatore today. He's over 100 years old, and with the support of his wife, Marie, he's painting every day with no intention of stopping now. I might add his voice is a little raspy as a result of surgery he had at an early age. I would say it's an obsession. <laughs> it's it, period. Actually, that's my life, that's all. That's all I have, except uh, uh, my marriage to Marie. But anything else would be my heart. Salvatore is of Sicilian descent, and he was born in Detroit in 1909. Shortly afterwards, he moved to San Francisco, where he spent most of his life. He pursued his passion at San Francisco School of Art under well-known artist Stanley Wood. His medium was watercolor back then, and his subjects were varied. And even today, his work continues to evolve. Art is an abstraction. It's, it's a progression. There's some times when you have to give it up, and, uh, but then it always comes back to you, you know, because uh, it's all coming out of your head. And uh, sometimes there's not much there. And then uh, something comes into your mind that creates a series of events, we'll say. Now like the barns, the recent barns. Uh, that's a recent obsession. Actually, his barns are inspired by the white ones he remembers from the farmlands of California. When he moved to Middle Tennessee in 1980, they became red. His medium has changed to acrylics, and his work is more colorful than ever. Well, when you come down to it, everything is either yellow, red, or blue. You can pin everything down to the three primary colors, if you want to. But to me, the primary colors, I like them because they're strong and they're vibrant. I like to work with them, and I use them a lot. Salvatore's work has been shown in exhibits from the 1941 Golden Gate International Show when the Golden Gate Bridge was actually opened to shows around the Middle Tennessee area today. Most recently, his paintings were hanging in the art center of Cannon County. And while each one is unique, he says his paintings are more than they appear. And you were saying, like on this one here, most people just see the tabletop. They see the, the yeah. fruit and the flowers. Yeah. What do you see? Well, I see I see the objects, of course, but I also see the different arrangements of colors. The blues, I like the blues there. The perspective, as far as the table is concerned, would not be that way. The table would probably be flat, but there's an abstract evolvement of making the table kind of a flat object with the objects uh, on the table. And of course, we simply had to ask the question about his longevity and if he attributes any of it to the love of his painting. You know, I can look back to when I was 15, 14, 12 years old. Uh, to me, yesterday is the same as today. As far as knowing my mind is clear, and uh, I can visualize what I did at 12 or 14 as well as I can visualize what I'm going to do now. But as far as contributing anything, 
I don't think it had anything to do. I think it's the genes my father and mother gave me, and that's it. Well, those around Salvatore say this may be an understatement. They say it's his marriage and his art that keep him going. It's his passion for both that's fulfilled his life and given us a deeply inspiring legacy. So where does he go from here? What I will do, what subject matter I will do, is hard to say. You know, art is kind of like a mystery when you come right down to it. It really is a mystery.